Hey grade 10, today we are going to be doing an isometric drawing for you guys. So this is one that I made for you guys so you can get practice using different examples. The more you do the better you'll get so let's just get started. So you're given a piece of paper here that says what's given to you is the front view, top view and right view of a bracket. Then the instructions are to draw to a scale of 2 to 1 so that means 2 times bigger. And then it says show all necessary construction and make S the lowest point of the drawing. Okay, so we know when we draw an isometric that you always have to use your 30 degree set square. So we're going to start off by drawing our 30 degree set square and drawing two lines here like that. And then that will obviously be your point S. Okay, so first things first. We're going to look at the measurements given to us. Here we are given a measurement of 50 and of 40. So because we are working two times bigger, we're going to double the measurement. So here we will have a measurement of 10. And at this point here, we will have a measurement of 8. Okay. And then we are going to draw three lines going up. So we'll have a line here going up. A line at the middle going up. And a line at the end here going up as well. Okay, so before we get started, I want to actually use highlights so that you guys can visualize where we're working. I find that makes things a lot easier. So, first thing we are looking at is this bit over here. I like to start at the right view, everybody's a little bit different. So, that's where we are going to start. All right, so you can see here that we are given this bit right over here and let me just color this in I see this colors running out so it's looking a bit light okay so there we are that bit's right on the edge and we know this because if we have a look here that's all dark and there's like a line cutting it off the same over here and then if we look at our other views we can see that there's a lot of there's a lot going on but do you see that there's a flat surface here and obviously not anything over over there okay so to clarify something for you guys this will be your top view your front view and your right view so we're looking at the right okay so we're going to start off by drawing this point here so we see we have a height of 40 which we know we are going to double making it a height of 80 and then we are going to draw our lines going straight across like this over here all right so now that we've got these lines here we're going to have a look at the other measurements to determine which heights this bit is and we see that we've got 20 so double will be 40. okay so we've got 40 and then we are going to draw a line going down here and we are going to do the same on the other side over here all right once you have got that we're going to see a measurement of 30 here at the top and we are going to double that one which will give us 60 which means that once we draw our drawing here we'll take the measurement of 60 okay and then we are going to draw in our lines so let me just make these solid so you can see where we are working currently please use your ruler to do the 30 degree lines I'm just going to do it freehand for now and you will see that at this point over here we have got what we have on our piece of paper over here so let me just color it in green so we can obviously see where we are still working okay we've got this side here that we've drawn in all right, so now we obviously want to get the rest of the points in and we can see that this is a slope and we can only assume that this part of this, well, this will be formed part of the slope as well. So we see that it's got a measurement of 20, which double will get us 40. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line going across here and a line going across at the back and you are going to measure 40. So we'll have 40 at this point over here and then we will have 40 at the bottom over here as well and then 
we're going to connect them just like that so you'll see that we have got this part here the top view which will be this part over here so let me just draw this line in here and here for you guys so the block with the lines over here will actually form this part of the slope over here for you guys okay so now that we have got that we have established okay this part here is also the lines because it's the front of the slope if you had to look from this side okay now we want to get the rest of the drawing and we see that there's a flat bit over here and we know it's flat because if we look at the right view we see it is flat and it's got a height of 40 as well so we are going to take our ruler we know we've already measured our height of 40 at this point here so we're going to draw that across or that up and then we're going to draw this line here up as well okay where it touches the end of the slope and then we can close off the bottom and close off the top and then we are going to bring our lines going across so we will draw a line going backwards like that okay now i want you to have a look at this triangle here that will actually be this triangle here so i'm just trying to do this to help you guys visualize isometrics so that's this triangle here okay so you can see that if you look at the right view and so far from what you see on this side if you were a man standing here looking this way this is what you would see okay so the next bit is we are obviously going to get our top bit in over here so let's do that quickly so we know that if the total height is 40 and this is 20 this height will be 40 because again remember we are doubling our sizes so we are going to draw a line up from the corner here we are going to measure 40 over there and we are going to draw a line going down now we know that it stops where the start of the slope is so we are going to lightly draw a line going across and then we are going to draw a line at the start of the slope going up just like we did or just like i've done over here and then we are going to draw that line solid because we know that's not going to get influenced okay so now we want to get the rest of the bit in so we see that this part obviously only starts after the square here so we can draw in the square right over here and we can draw that across because we know it's going to obviously be a part that's not getting touched and then we're going to draw a light line going up like that we're going to draw a solid line this side and then again we're going to draw a line going back and then a line going across here and we will do the same at this point over here okay so with that being done you're going to see that here is hidden details showing a hole we see it here as well so we know that it's got a length of 15 and a height of 20 oh sorry this will be 30 because we double it and this will obviously be 20 because we double it so we're going 30 by 20 so this actually won't be a solid line guys sorry i got ahead of myself we will fix that now but first you're going to measure 30 and then you're going to draw a line going up and you are going to make a measurement of 20 okay so let's just make this line here quickly and then let me erase the bit where i got ahead of myself and just fix up over there okay so let's just carry on this line is going to go straight through there because it's a hole so you see it touches the bottom here which means it's going to go straight through and then we have this height over here that we're going to stick in and this point over here and that will be our complete isometric okay so now i just want to color in more parts so that you can obviously see where we're looking if you still don't really um know where, what you're looking at so let's that's green again we don't need that color let's start off with this over here this purple okay 
it. So you see there's the purple. The purple will be over here on the drawing. Okay. Then we obviously want to get any extra colors in. So let's get some more. Let me just grab some extras for you guys. Okay. One more color. Okay. So if we had to make a part orange, let me just do something quickly. Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit um, quieter for you guys. I can hear everyone and moving around in the house so i'm sure you could probably as well okay so let's start here so if we have the orange over here okay that will be the orange over here like that and then let's make no let's not make that part orange yet let's make this part over here blue which we know will be this part over here okay and then we're going to have yellow, which will be at the top over here. So we have yellow. We're going to stick yellow over here. And then the rest, I'm going to do patterns for you guys. So we've got diagonals over here, which will be the diagonals over here. And then here, let's do swirls. And you will see it over here as well. Okay. So now, looking from the top view, if you're a man looking from the top view, this is our top view here. You know that you'll see the yellow, the swirls, the diagonal, and the lines going down, just as you see over here. If you're a man, again, standing on the right, you're going to see the green, the purple, the pink. Okay. If you're a man standing here, you're going to obviously see what you see over here, the blue, the orange, the lines going up. Okay. So I hope this kind of helped you to understand isometrics a little bit and how we look at it. Remember, um, when we label, I have made a separate video on this, so I'm just going to assume you know it, but let me just go through with you now. Um, with third isometric, I mean third isometric, sorry, third orthographic, we always have our top view, our front view, our right view, and our left view, along with 45 degrees these are your 45 degrees okay so that's why we have top front right because we have sectioned out these bits over here okay so one thing that will help you with your isometrics is understanding your views so i hope this helped you just get a little bit of a better understanding on your isometrics so yeah i hope it helped